For this problem, what we can do is trig substitution. So I can say that x equals sine of theta. So when I take the derivative of this, it will be dx is equal to cosine theta d theta. Now, what I can do with this is pl plug in for x. Anytime I see x, I can plug in sine theta, right? So it will be right here, 1 over 1 minus, since it's x squared, I can plug in sine theta squared, and then to the uh, 3 half power. And then since I need to replace dx, well, dx is equal to cosine theta d theta, right? So I can plug in cosine theta d theta. Um, and then the other thing is uh, there's a trig identity that says 1 minus sine theta squared is the same as cosine squared, um, cosine squared theta. So since I use that trig identity to change this into cosine squared theta, and then keep the exponent and now since I have this, I can keep simplifying. So when I have this, right, um, cosine theta squared um, to the 3 half power, well, when I multiply the exponents, right, that's the same as saying 2 over 1, right? If I, if I rewrite this as 2 over 1, and then I have 3 over 2, right, the 2's cancel, and then it'll just be 3. So instead of this, I'll just have cosine um, cubed theta and keep the cosine theta at the top. Now, um, one of the cosines can cancel, so it'll be 1 over cosine squared theta. Now, cosine, right? 1 over cosine is the same as secant theta. So that'll become secant theta squared d theta. And then when I take the in integral of secant squared theta, that's the same as tangent. And then don't forget the plus c. The thing is, we're still not done because um, the original equation had the variable of x, and then we did the trig substitution. So we have to convert it back into the x form. So we'll use this equation to do that. So for this equation, right, we said that x is um, x is equal to sine theta, right? x is equal to sine theta. That means that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? So you can imagine it as x over 1. So sine, since it's opposite over hypotenuse, that means that x has to be opposite and the 1, right, x, since it's x over 1, will be hypotenuse, right? So the x will be the opposite, and the 1 will be hypotenuse. That means when we draw a triangle, right, the x will be the opposite, right, and the hypotenuse will be 1. I'll write it one more time, just so you get it down. Um, so, so x, right, x over 1 is equal to uh, sine theta. And so sine, right, is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. That means that x will be opposite and 1 will be hypotenuse. So when we draw our triangle, um, x will be opposite and the 1 will be the hypotenuse. So here, the opposite is that x and the hypotenuse will be 1. Now since we have two of the sides, we can do Pythagorean theorem to get the adjacent side. And the adjacent side, we find, is square root of 1 squared minus x squared. So we get that. We get this. So why did we do all of that? Well, because we need to change this tangent into an um, x form, right? So what is tangent in this case? Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So opposite over adjacent, that means to substitute tangent, um, we'll do uh, opposite, which is x, over adjacent, which is square root of 1 minus x squared plus c. So all I did was just use, um, since we did trig substitution originally, we have to change it back into this form. And this form we derived would be tangent over opposite over adjacent. So it would be x over, is its opposite over adjacent, which is uh, x over square root of 1 minus x squared. And then uh, don't forget the plus c, because um, that's important. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.